Hey guys, it's Crystal Dragonfly here with another installment of my scrap a journal. And today I'm going to be doing a spread with Cheryl Amy, Cheryl Amy's things. Um, I've said this previously. She has lots of fun goodies. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, yeah, some really good pieces here I'm excited to use. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you might see I do have some marks here if you think in this part. I just actually put those there for a reason. And I'm going to put two bigger pieces um, that were in there. So I wanted those to be on top. So um, I'm doing that. That way I don't have, I'm not really going to worry about covering those areas. So we don't, I don't really waste. It's just, you know, I use, oh, what am I going to say? Whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to go with that. I really want those there, so I wanted to mark them. <laughs> you know, I kind of go through the scraps um, and get, I don't know, I wouldn't say a feel, but um, a look and see and see what I really kind of want to do with it. I look through and figure out kind of which route I'm going. Um, and she's got some really cool, a lot of die cuts in the shape of flowers. She's got some homemade flowers she made me that are in there. So I went, I'm going with kind of a flowery. Oh, and she sent me some beautiful, fun flowers too, or butterflies, excuse me. So I already know where it's kind of going. So. Now it's figuring in putting the scraps to uh, where you want them, you know? Um, I am at my table. Um, again, uh, <laughs> I'm actually doing this kind of the same day I did my last pages, but you won't actually see it probably for a week. Um, I don't really think everybody wants to see back to back to back these. And we have other things I share, so um, yeah. I'm trying to, uh, and I usually, you know, do other things that I really, 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 really wanted. Uh, that's what I wanted to do today. I should be working on my talk. My mission, mini mission of happiness. But I'm just not feeling it yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm still debating on what to make the prompt and I'm just, I'm just having a, not popping to me, you know. And I wait until it does. So I'll just probably do it tomorrow. I'll probably sleep on it and be like, whoop. There it is, you know. Kind of how it usually happens. So. Usually, usually, right? That's my thought. Oh, I'm a little kawonky. If you notice, I do tape with um, masking tape my middle of my books. Um, it helps keep the glue from going into the um, into the other pages. I don't really, you know, I, I duct tape, not duct tape it. Oh yeah, I did duct tape it. I duct taped the uh, spine, so I'm not really worried about that, but it keeps it the glue from going into the other pages. So. That's why I do that. Not really. Oh, it's a bigger piece. Bigger, bigger, bigger piece. 
Yes, I talk to myself a lot doing this, guys. <laughs> So pretty, so that uh, there's some on. I didn't know which one. I think I'll go to paper right there. Really cool. I'm gonna go with this one. I don't know if I can find the end. There it is. I think it's so cool of an idea to put washi tape around a playing card. You know, the playing cards kind of get that waxy material that's kind of on it so it won't really stick to it. It's just, a, I think it's a cool idea if you're playing. Um, so. Big prompts for that. <laughs> and like I said, I'm just going to kind of, uh -oh, just throw some washi tape down before we get on to the next. I kind of played around with it and decide kind of where I want to go with it, even though I'm sure when I actually sit down to do it, it will change, because that's how I am. It's choose one place and choose another. Cut off the excess layer, guys. Alright, there we go. So, we've got all these beautiful, this is even, oh my god, a little bit more over there, but these are the ones I decided to use. Flowers that are cutouts and different things, so I'm gonna make sure I use. Um, just some fun. fun different flowers um, that I want to make sure I incorporate. I'm not going to go too far over because I want to put sandwiches. She did me one of these beauties and I want to put her kind of over here walking alone singing a song. trying 
kind of see I had, I looked earlier and I told you I had it kind of picked out, but not. That'll work. I feel like she's walking in the garden. Yeah. And my dog's in there screwing around. And we got this. I think it's cute. Wonderful days of our lives, right? <laughs> Run it on the line, so it's gonna be on there pretty well, but not where it won't work. Like that one and that one and some of these I'm gonna have to probably do a little bit differently. Um because of the material. That it's made of, I think it would be probably good to um, use a stronger one. So what, light or dark? <laughs> I'm going to go with light or dark. I'm going to do some work on these flowers. Doesn't mean it's working very well <laughs> at all. And I'm doing yellow and white is what I'm working with right <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to mess around with these guys here, and who knows what else. Alright guys, on these flowers, making them blinging them out, as they say. With gel pens, and I'm using uh, different things. <laughs> there goes that over there. Put this one here. I wanna always make sure you shake these with the lid on. Trust me, how many times I have actually. And they leak all over me. Ugh. Too many to the cat. I think I learned that for the first time. But you shake them with the lids off. open. There comes the green color. Uh. There we go. Just some fun. Doodling, blinging, woohoo! <laughs> but I wanted to get back to these beautiful butterflies I ended up making. I like them. I like them a lot, actually. I'm going to go ahead and use the clear scotch glue on these instead of the um, the Elmer's wash, as I call it. There we go. Just throw that down on there. And I got another one. There we go. That'll go down because I'm going to have to shut in the book. Glue on that sucker on there. There we go. 
I am really, really, really liking that. It looks cute. I like it. This one's got that going, so we're going to use the... And I'm having a blast doing it. Just like that. <laughs> Very cool. So what do we got? We got a purple and a white one over here. So I just did purple there. So I think we're going to do the white here. I'm trying to go around the outer flower and bring it in. I like it. I like this. There we go. <coughs> Do you see my? I did. <coughs> I don't know if I showed in there or if it videotaped it. But I did squiggly leaves, just like I did the squiggly um, vines. I'm loving that. It's cute. So see, um, this type of play, just you really don't. You're having fun. You're not. You know, you're not worried about the outcome. You're playing with your supplies, and because of that, I found a new cute little stem stem and leaf thing, you know? I love it! I think it's adorable. That, of course, needs white on it. I mean, how fun is it? I mean, it's nothing huge. We're not, um... Yeah. But I'm, I'm loving it. I am loving this page. It is just too cute. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I'm debating. Besides, um, I'm thinking besides a little, maybe a um, border and a little more uh, doodling. I want to doodle around that, I think. Something on that one. We're going to take the middle. We're going to go around. Like that. Um, other than that, I am done for this, guys. I will take a picture at the end to show you the complete. We did one and done. I mean, and I think it's going to be done. I doubt I add anything else to it. But you never know down the line. But I'm calling this spread done after I do those few little things. Thank you for um, being part of my scrap journal and my art journal. Journal. <laughs> part of my scrap journey on my journal. Oh, that's a tongue twister, guys. Um, i got to do something to that one, too. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happiness to you. Go make a mess and don't forget to art it out, guys. Bye.